Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's design this machine part in Creo Parametric. So let's get started. And for this, first you go to new, part, solid, assign the name and say ok. Now to design this kind of part, first you create all add material features and then you go for remove material feature. So let's start this part with this base feature and for this go to extrude, onto the front datum plane, normal, switch off your datums. Now add a center rectangle, just like this. Now this is 20. From here till here, this is 118 and this is 154. Say OK. Make it symmetry and this is 72. Say OK. Now the next feature is this feature and for this go to extrude, select this surface, normal, draw the circle somewhere here, delete segment, delete this segment. Now this is 28 and this one is 64, say OK. Two selected, select this surface and say OK. Now the next feature is this feature and for this go to extrude, switch on your datum, select front datum plane, normal, switch off the datum, draw the circle. Now this is 36 and from here till here it is 82. Say OK, make it symmetry and this is again 36, now the next feature is this feature and for this go to extrude, use previous, normal, now draw the circle first, here, then line, from here this side tangent, then another line from here till here, go to tangent, make this line tangent with this and this line tangent with this. Go to delete segment, delete this segment and this segment and this segment. Say ok. Make it symmetry and this is 10, say ok. Similarly, this rib and for this go to extrude, switch on your datum, select this datum plane, normal, go to reference, select this surface, this surface and this surface. Draw line from the mid of this come this side, come down, then go here, then from here, just like this, this is 28 and say ok, make it symmetry, 10 and say ok. So my all add material features are done, now I will go for remove material features and the first feature is this feature and for this go to extrude, select this surface, normal, draw the circle, just like this, go to delete segment, delete this segment, now this is 18, go for line, draw a line like this, come down, go this side up and close it. Now this is 6 and say OK. Make it through all. Now the next feature is this hole and for this switch on your datum, 
go to hole select this surface press and hold control key and select the center axis now this is 18 and this is through all similarly this hole this side and this side and for this go to hole select this surface drag this handle and attach with this datum and this handle with this surface now this is 12 this is 18 this is also 18 and this is through all go to mirror select this datum plane and say enter Now the next feature is this cut and for this go to extrude, select this surface normal, draw the rectangle from here just like this, one center line, make it symmetry, this point and this point with this, this is 20 and this is 10. Say OK. This is through next and OK. Now the last feature is couple of rounds. So go for round, select this edge, this edge, this edge and this edge. Now this is 10 and your part is done. Now to change the appearance, go to view, appearance, select the appearance, part and select this part. Go to appearance, edit this appearance, select the suitable color, one more appearance. This time go for intent surface, select this surface, press and hold control key, this surface, this surface, this surface and this surface and enter. Now if you want to show these dimensions the way it is given here in this model, then go for annotate and here you can use either show annotation or dimension to highlight these dimensions. So if you use show annotation and select any feature, it will highlight all available dimensions. Now from here you can select whichever dimension you want to keep or you can directly select from here. Same thing you can create using dimension. So suppose I want to create this dimension 82 in this model. Then first we need to change the sketching plane and for this I need to select right sketching plane. Then switch on your datums, select the center axis, press and hold control key and select this edge and you can place your dimension just like that and the same 3D dimension can be added to your drawing also and for that go to drawing, and first you place your isometric view just like this, change the scale, now to add this 3D dimension in this drawing, First you go to file, prepare, drawing properties, change, now here you search for 3D, change this option to yes, now you go to annotate, show model annotation, select the feature and select the dimension which you want to keep here. You can reposition it just like this. Similarly, you can add other dimensions. And this is how you can create your 3D dimensions in your drawing.
So this was the machine part and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.